we hear it from the prophet Malachi, the messenger of God, Malachi, that there is a problem in the leaders and also in God's people amongst themselves. The Supreme King is not receiving his honour and the flock is being led astray. It is taken up by the Lord in the Gospel. The authority of Moses can be claimed by the official teachers but the example is not going with it. And is it not true? that we teach as much by example as by word. The old saying holds true. Your actions speak so loudly that I can't hear what your words are saying. Even on a daily basis, a leader of souls who habitually permits himself bad language is inviting the flock to do the same. But then when it comes to teaching, if, as Isaiah points out, the dogs are unable to bark, then the city is at risk. And St Gregory the Great, in his pastoral rule, insists on this truth. Pastors who are unable to warn are dumb dogs, unable to bark. Should we end up in a situation where Christianity has a moral code inferior to other religions, Judaism or Islam, on certain issues, then we are in that situation. We have gone into the incapacity to speak and to warn, lest we lose popularity. But the Lord did not promise us popularity. He warned us that we were to expect treatment similar to what he received for the disciple is not greater than his master. And if he was called Beelzebul, why should we want to have pride of place in society? After all, the truth is bound to hurt those who don't want to hear it. So it's those who don't want to hear it that need to be changed and not the truth. For the truth, understood and obeyed, will save their souls. More of the lies of the enemy, the lies that come from the father of lies, are more of the same thing. And enough creatures of that around without adding to their number. But let us return to the first warning of the prophet Malachi. We have to do with a king, and he is asking, where is his honour? When entering a church for the first time in Poland somewhere, St Faustina felt a great commotion in her soul. It was awesome, and she could feel the presence and she heard in her soul words to the effect that this is how the Lord wanted it to be. When we enter the house of God, God alone should absorb our attention, and we should leave the world behind and not bring it with us. As Pope Benedict indicated in one of his powerful statements, when applause enters the house of God, it is a clear indication that we have lost completely the notion of liturgy and replaced it with some 
human entertainment with a vaguely religious hue. sleeping while the earth blows onward into light to hold our heart our watch is keeping and bears not now by day or night as now the gold in the mountain dial and the dawn is on another day the voice of prayer is near Silent, nor the eyes that on praise away. The sun that beams us rest is waking a breath from beneath the western sky, and our fresh names are making thy wondrous doings heard on so be it, Lord, thy throne shall never like us, proud empires pass away. Thy kingdom stands and grows forever, till all thy creatures are 